All right, you guys, it is literally January 2nd. Um, I'm in the Uber right now going to Dr. Hashtin's office. He specializes in breast augmentations and he's so fucking good and literally my dream doctor for it. And I had a consultation literally two days ago, but Cole threw my phone at the wall and broke it. And so I literally was getting my phone screen fixed during the time I needed to go and I missed it, fuck. And I literally leave Miami tomorrow at 3 a.m. and I just called him. I was like, oh my God, Dr. Hashtin, I can literally be there in 30 minutes. Like, can you please just see me today? Cause like, I don't want to like go back to LA and then like have to see a shitty doctor and then like get botched or something. So like, I'm here. Thanks, sir. <laughs> Guess who's getting their boobs done literally next week. I leave Miami tomorrow and I'm literally coming back in like four days. Um, and then I have my pre-op and then the next day I have my surgery. <gasps> I could literally fucking cry. This is like fucking insane that the first month of 2020 is already off to the most insane start of my literally entire life. I am feeling so grateful and blessed for literally all my best friends who have supported me literally through everything and Jordan and all of you guys and literally just like life. Like what the fuck? <laughs> I'm like shaking. Okay, so it is literally 3 a.m. And ignore the fact that I need more Botox and ignore the fact that I literally haven't gotten a spray tan in a fucking week. I leave for my flight at like 4 ish because my flight is at 6 30 to miami i have my pre-op appointment tomorrow my surgery is friday so i'm so fucking excited i honestly cannot believe it's fucking real i can't wait to take you guys along with me on this journey it's fucking crazy that it's literally only a couple weeks into 2019 <gasps> i'm in 2020 <laughs> and this is already like happening and so much is going on and like what so i'm at the airport i'm in chicago right now today has literally just been the most fucking <laughs> stressful day ever where nothing has been going right but everybody has those fucking days but literally this morning i got home from tana's at like two <laughs> thinking that i had so much time to pack and get my life together my suitcase broke and amari had to send me his suitcase in like an uber so i get home and i'm like okay it's three o'clock i have to leave for the airport at four i'm just gonna take a quick one hour nap and bitch when i tell you romy woke me up at 6 45 and my flight was at 6 30. she goes lila what time was your flight i got like 15 minutes ago boo and so i literally get online and i buy a flight for 10 30 and so i'm like you know what it's okay i'll be fine everything's okay but i bought it for next wednesday and not today i'm like fuck lila you can just not do anything right so i get to the airport and american fixes it and reschedules me on a different plane i literally don't land in miami till 10 p.m instead of 5 p.m which is just so annoying and inconvenient and so honestly just great for me so it is january 9th and i just woke the fuck up so i literally sound like i smoke like six packs of cigarettes a day i am up and well and i am in miami i'm so happy to be back even though it's literally only been four days i cannot believe this is real i literally cannot thank everybody who has supported me enough in any type of fucking way i'm outside waiting for my car right now my pre-op appointment is in like 55 minutes and it takes like 45 minutes to get to dr hockstein's office I wish I had time to go to Starbucks, but I literally don't. Hey, sir. Okay, you guys. So I'm here at my pre-op just trying on a bunch of different sizes. Just making sure that I'm going with the right size. And this is 470 cc's. I was going to do 435, but I'm like, bitch, that's going to look like so coconutty and not what I want. And this is so good. What? So I just left my pre-op and it went so well. Um, it just went over everything that's going on tomorrow, which is like so fucking crazy that it's literally tomorrow. I was gonna do 435 cc's, which is just like a good size, I guess, just like a good D moment. Um, I don't really know. They don't really go by size. But ever since I left my appointment last week, in my head I was always like, I feel like it's gonna look like too small or too like coconutty on my body since I'm such a tall ass, like 5'11 ass bitch. And so now we're going with 470 cc's, which I think is just a perfect amount. I I'm so excited I want it to be tomorrow now. Like, what am I supposed to do the rest of the day? So I just got to my Airbnb. We got an Airbnb just because we don't want to stay at Amanda's mom's and like bug her because I'm literally getting fucking surgery and I'm just gonna be so like drugged out and off Percocets and like high maintenance. So you walk in. Oh, I've literally never stayed in anything like this. Like, what the fuck? Oh my god. Like, why don't I live here? It's really fucking weird. Even though I won't be sleeping on the bed because I have to sleep on a fucking recliner because I'm getting my boobs done in the morning. And then bed. Hi, bathtub. And then the walk-in shower because Amanda literally has to shower me. And they literally just knocked on the door and brought in two bottles of this shit. But it's like, bitch, I can't drink it because I'm getting surgery. This is literally my recliner that I'm going to be in. Thanks, sir. So it is 
January 8th or something. I'm just like sitting here having such a moment. It's like so crazy that literally like I'm getting my surgery tomorrow and it's something that I've always wanted for so long and when you want something for so long and like I know I have like so many moments where I'm just like blacked out or like at cats but like this is something that nobody can take away from me and even with my messy cracked out meth looking ass hair I'm just so fucking grateful my family never given me a dime me worked at McDonald's like all this crazy ass shit and the fact that like I've honestly come so far and I have to give myself credit for coming this far is like just so insane and I'm just sitting here looking out my window of this Airbnb and like my surgeries tomorrow and my face surgeries in a couple weeks and I'm just like holy fuck how did I get here I'm just so thankful for you guys and thankful for life and I just wanted to tell you guys that like I know one of you watching this are feeling depressed or sad or like you're never gonna be where you want to be in life or with your transition or with yourself even if you're not trans or LGBT or anything but you will it's that fucking easy and it actually isn't that easy it's fucking hard as shit bitch I worked 8 p.m. till 4 a.m. at McDonald's. I lived on the kitchen floor. I literally live in the living room still. You just like need to live every day like it's your fucking last and work hard and live your happiest life. And I just love you guys. Me and my little slippers. Hey, sir. I don't even fucking know what day it is at this time. And my surgery in like 11 hours. I'm so excited. I cannot believe that this is real. It is officially the time where I cannot eat anything, drink anything, not even water. Like, okay, what about my Starbucks refresher? My surgery's at 11. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. It is the morning of my surgery. I cannot fucking believe this is real. It is literally in two fucking hours. I just showered because you have to shower the night before in the morning of your surgery with like a bar of soap. And I don't remember the last time I've used a bar of soap. Amanda's like five minutes away. Thank God I cannot like thank her enough for being here with me and it's gonna take care of me. But I have to be real with you guys. I feel like I wasn't nervous ever until like literally last night when like everybody was sending me all their like good luck messages and all this. And I was like, good luck for what? And then I was like, oh wait, I'm literally going under the knife and like all this anesthesia <sighs> I know it's gonna be okay I know I'm in such good hands and I trust Dr. Hoxstein literally with my life Amanda just got here in my bed yeah. me and Amanda are in the lobby off to surgery my literally we're gonna be there in 30 minutes <gasps> I'm so excited for you I don't think you should be nervous I can't believe we were in Miami last week and she just like came on another flight for me <laughs> and her mom just like taking me to get my boobs on her like hey sir how are you buenos dias I am so excited for Lila. My second mom. Yes, I know. And I literally just want to pull up. I love you so much. I love you. Because we just got fucking a Starbucks, but I can't even get anything because I can't eat or drink. But Amanda's just in the fucking backseat, sipping her violet drink, taking an Instagram story. Like I'm thirsty. This way. No, mom. We are at my not pre-op, but the surgery day. Lila, they don't fit you. They literally don't fit, but good thing they're taking them off and slitting open my nipple. And my good little Walmart set. This is crazy. Here you go. Okay, yeah. Let's sit in like the counter. That's why I find it. I would never miss this moment. Oh, oh! <laughs> that's so nice. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, I love you. with Amanda. No. I go. I can't believe he's not coming. <laughs> I was like, I think he's like still sleeping or something right now. It's like seven in LA. <laughs> You're going to put this on over your head. These are going to go on over your feet. If you brought socks, you can keep those on. Okay. Put these on over them, and then you're going to put on these cute little panties, okay? Cute. Okay, and how tall? You got all your prescription stuff? We're going to actually get them, like, Yeah, I'm going to pick them up. There was, like, a line at Walgreens, so I don't want to be late. Yeah, no, so they're all staying here, and I'll go to the drugstore. Okay, I'll be back. And what procedure are you having today? Breast augmentation. Yeah, and when you were consulting with Dr. Hobson, did you guys decide on the size that you were going to do? We're going to do 470 cc. 470. <laughs> I know. Wait, that's why I'm like recording you naked. <laughs> no. All right. nice. I am 
is literally fully in my little oh, gown yeah. and I'm so excited. Cool fucking surprise me. He is psycho. <laughs> it's like a workout. <laughs> <laughs> Wish me luck. Next time you guys see me, I'm gonna be on drugs with titties. Oh, I love you guys. I'll see you in like, literally an hour. Got the tea ah, with you. Okay. Bye, Lila. Oh, see you at titties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> love you. So finally, my mom came two hours later, two hours later to pick Lila up, and she's about to get wheeled out. Lila goes, right when she, the first thing she said when she yeah. woke up was, hey, boo. She was like out of it. The nurse was like, yeah, she was just like, hey, boo. <laughs> I'm telling you. Go, go, go. Hi. Oh. Hi. How are you? I'm so happy. I love you. Oh, don't cry. You have boobies. I know you have. You have boobies. <laughs> oh my god. I love you, baby. Like, they already. Oh my god. I love you. I love you so much. I remember you guys are out here and I like started crying. <laughs> I know. Wow, wait, oh. Oh, they look really so good. Hey, okay. you're like, yes, does your chest hurt? Thank you. Yeah. Do we load her up? Yeah. I'll help you. Yeah, don't choke her. <laughs> Lila's unconscious in the front seat. In the car seat, with my mom. And Amanda's swinging at her mom in the, in the back. My mom forgot the most important medicine, the Percocet. Kind of important. No, the most important one. Yeah. And of course my mom forgets She's it. Now we're in Smoothie King getting my little smoothie so she can't eat like actual food. Eat something in her home. So I'm in so much pain. We are at CVS because they fucking forgot to give me my Percocet. <laughs> Cole literally came and visited me. I am shook as fuck after I literally sat on Instagram live last night being like, I guess he has other priorities, blah, 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 blah. I was just so fucking shook and started crying because I literally have the best friends ever. I'm so fucking happy and blessed and grateful and I need my drugs. Why are you like just unzip the jacket. Oh, I did. No, Wait, let me do it. Oh! Oh! You can already see like... Oh my god! Oh my god. Baby, you god. I have, wait, oh my god, that was such a moment. <laughs> Be careful. I feel like I got hit by a car. <laughs> you literally surprised me in Florida. You just got back from surgery. Oh. Ah! It doesn't feel real that that's what I'm looking at right now. Like you made yourself with tits. You guys. As you can tell, I'm naked okay, because Cole literally has to dress me. <laughs> Oh. 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 <coughs> Everyone's like, oh my god, how aren't you dying? But I think that it's just like the universe telling me that like your body was meant for this and you're like always like mentally have like had this in your like head or something. And you and all, so you're also like, very tattooed and you heal quick. This is literally our third Postmates order of the day. Bit oh. <gasps> Full oh. braided my hair earlier because it was just a fucking shit show and I literally can't reach my arms up. So I was like, Cole, you know I love my good messy buns and he's just like doing it for me. I look like Pepper from American Horror Story. <gasps> okay, kind of good. Day one is over. I just took a perk. Cole is decking me in. Cole just threw a pillow at my chest, Amanda. Cole. It's okay. Does it recline Morgan? Oh, you look so cozy. Good, good, tuck you in. You guys get to shower me in the morning. I feel like it's Christmas morning. Okay, so that was day one. Amanda, how'd I do? You did way better than I expected. Honestly, I give you props. You killed it, Mom. Yeah, you did. I keep thinking I have heartburn, but I keep forgetting I have implants on my chest. It like really hurt. I mean, you should take a bow Today was honestly something I've been waiting for for so long and I'm so lucky to have my besties here with me. Good morning, you guys. I'm in so much pain. It is day two. Ah, oh, Amanda, literally, look at the recliner. <laughs> literally, it pushes me so far up to help me stand up. Ah, oh, and like yesterday, I feel like I was thriving, but today I like literally couldn't even like grab my phone. And Amanda had to like help me go pee and shit, so like bless her fucking heart. But I think we're gonna order some breakfast or something and Sorry, I'm like brain dead. I like have implants in my chest or something. I'm gonna shower in an hour or two. So that'll be interesting. <laughs> I'll go get Coley. Coley. Go. Go. Breakfast. Wakey, wakey. Okay, you guys, we are about to. We're inhaling the titties. Yeah, for the first time. Wait, I want to take it off for you. Oh. 
Wait, I'm so excited. Oh my god! Um, um, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! Oh! Amanda like made me bleed or something. No, I didn't. <laughs> Look at that oh, angle. Oh, oh, without the bandages. <laughs> without the bandages. Wow. Oh. You're not naked. <laughs> <laughs> What's new? You guys, Mario just came and visited me. Post city. Hi, baby. <laughs> you guys, literally tell me why Michelle and Cheyenne literally just pulled the fuck up, knocked on the door with a bottle of alcohol and flowers. Like, marry me now. But now we're trying to figure out how the fuck I know, to I don't it. really know how to go. Oh, I love them. I could like cry or something. The view. So tell me why Michelle and Cheyenne came and it's literally day two of my breast augmentation. <laughs> and Amanda's like watching porn or something. But like, I literally did my full glam. And I'm just like trying to live my life. I'm in Miami. I'm not in too much pain. And hopefully that's like okay for me. You guys, I just got my, oh my tits God. done yesterday. Michelle and Cheyenne like, Go. I'm like, like, hi. Oh my god, wait, am I drunk or like what? <laughs> a little. Maybe a little. And honestly, this song's like such like a Halsey, oh, like Mickey's yeah, like. Yeah, it's like Halsey, but like, Coach Halsey. Amanda, get up! Somebody choked the fuck out of her. Wow, the view. Not you, move. Michelle. You got that? Like, I got I it. Know. She just doesn't know what to do. Fuck. Yes. Push. What? I'm pushing, okay. As hard as you can. Oh my god, push it baby, push okay. it. It is literally day two of my boob job and they're all fucking drinking and I'm oh, She got her boobs done yesterday. yesterday. Go, wow. Lay like, down. And I'm just like, oh my, my titties hurt. Yeah, I'm um, not cool you. Yes, I'll probably make out with her again. So I am back in my fucking recliner. I am feeling amazing. I just like honestly have the best friends ever. Life is fucking crazy. I'm just like emotional and feeling so happy. I am feeling pretty good. I feel like I might not even have to take anything before bed because I'm trying just to not really rely on medicine. At this point, even though it's only been two days, I'm just like so proud of myself and don't want to get in the habit of like taking medicine. Guys, so I just woke up day three. Um. But it's just like so fucking painful. <sighs> right when you first wake up and it's like just so much pressure. <sighs> okay, it's obviously gonna be okay. I just can't wait to like move around without like fucking crying or something. <sighs> this is literally no bra. That's no bra, man. No bra. That's literally just your tits. Just my tits. Oh, you're so happy. Happiest ever. I am fucking immobile. So Michelle is brushing my hair for me because I don't even like know how to brush my hair. Oh wow, you have nice fucking hair. Oh thanks, Phil. Oh shit. You need a fat little braid moment. Oh. Braid? Does anybody know how? Cheyenne is really good. Cheyenne literally braided my hair. But look at my like t-shirt without like a bra. Oh my god, I'm just like so happy. It's fucking crazy. Because whenever I would wear like a t-shirt or like a hoodie or anything, my boobs would always look like so saggy and fucking weird. And now I just feel so much more like myself and how I felt internally. So I finally washed my bra after a couple of days. It like had blood on it or something. My, my boobs are honestly looking and feeling so good and secure. <sighs> Me like literally can't breathe, but Dr. Hoxstein popped the fuck off and that's just on period. <laughs> Amanda has literally been saying she's been going to work out for three hours. Like, Amanda, this could be popped up. <laughs> I just do some, like, stretches. <laughs> so, I feel like a lot of people don't tell you about getting your boobs done is that shit makes you fucking constipated. I feel so bloated and huge right now. Like, literally the fattest I've ever felt. But I'm just gonna try it not to let it bother me. Okay, so I don't really know what these little fucking little bow pee bass braids are still doing on my head for, but it is the end of day three. I am feeling honestly really fucking ugly. I feel like body image and all that can be so important that people like just like don't feel like how other people see them or like whatever. Like, 
and you're not seeing what you want in the mirror, but like in reality, it's just like body dysmorphia as fuck. But after you get your boobs done, I guess that the anesthesia just makes you like so fucking swollen. Like as you can tell, like my neck area and obviously like my boobs and like my face and just like my literal stomach are so bloated. And I'm just like not feeling myself. That's okay. Just like, what the fuck? When is it gonna go down? And I just know that like this next month and like these next couple months are gonna be so draining. And like even I feel like it shows that even if like you get surgery, like your life's still not gonna be like perfect and you're not still gonna like feel the most perfect always, but that's okay because that's just life and your body goes through different stages. And just because you're fucking bloated or not feeling the most beautiful, it doesn't mean you're a piece of shit and not a good person or whatever. And that's honestly just what matters at heart. But I'm just feeling so fucking grateful that Amanda's here and Cole came and that I like have my best friends support and like people that love me and care for me and like won't judge me even if I like gained a hundred pounds or something. Um, this has been so crazy and I will talk to you guys in the morning. Okay, you guys. So it's like day four or something. Oh. There you go. Bye. We are going to the post op, which I just need to like cuss him out. I tell him that I'm mad, but I'm so bloated from the anesthesia, but it's okay. And I'm honestly in kind of a little pain this morning, but I'm trying not to wake up and just get in the routine of taking up Percocet because they make me so fucking bloated. So I'm just gonna like push through the pain or something. Okay, guys. I literally just grew up in the bathroom at my post-op appointment because I took my antibiotics this morning without my fucking food. So yeah, that's an update. Okay, you guys, so we are at the post-op. I just threw up in the bathroom. <laughs> but now I'm back in my little gown and the last time I was in it, I literally didn't have so they are a little bruised, as you can tell right there. Obviously, just from implants being shoved into my skin. <laughs> little post-op OOTD. Open of the day. <laughs> It has been such a time here. My boobs are recovering so well and I actually want to show you guys what they look like because I think it is day five now of recovery and there's still some like yellowish bruising under my boobs obviously because it's only been five days. Amanda and everybody else I talked to said that is normal and the yellowish color just means that like the bruising is starting to go down. So obviously they look pretty big right now but they look so fucking good. As I was saying with the bruising underneath how it's like yellow, like what the fuck? Hopefully that'll go down in the next couple days. I will keep you guys updated, but until then, I will see you guys in the morning. It is Wednesday and we go back to LA today. My boobs are healing so fucking good and I'm so happy with the results. Obviously underneath they are still a little yellow and my rib cages and sides are like a little bruised but I just know that obviously these next couple months my body's going to go through some changes and that is okay and I'm still a bomb ass bitch no matter what. I just went through TSA and we got to go priority with fucking Amanda's ass and I couldn't raise my arms because I have implants and they're actually not feeling too like swollen or anything crazy right now so that's good but they didn't ask any questions and they were just like on my side so thank fucking god because the airport can be such a difficult task especially when you're trans okay you guys this was not really how i was planning on ending the video there were a couple more clips that i wanted to be putting in it but my macbook is being so fucking weird because it's from like the dark ages of senior year of high school and i still use iMovie so that's fucking fun and fresh and i can't even smoke a backwood to like celebrate my breast augmentation and celebrate this video and to de-stress myself from the stupid idiots at Apple. <sighs> wow, okay, so that was my breast augmentation video, you guys, and it would not have been possible without you. I am now nine days post-op and bitch. Look at these tatas. They are looking so good. I honestly... Obviously, this probably isn't monetized considering I'm showing you guys my nipple. They are looking so good. Dr. Hochstein popped the fuck off. I love him. He is such an angel for honestly fixing my life and... Surgery is such an important part of transitioning, but I feel like it's not necessary for everybody. It, literally, you don't need surgery, filler, anything to be considered trans or be considered a woman or anything. But for me, my boobs were just the first step to, honestly, like, the rest of my life and just, like, becoming the human that I've always felt internally. And so now I'm there, and I'm so fucking happy and grateful. But if you guys are watching this still after 24 minutes or whatever the fuck, I love you guys so fucking much. Literally more than cheese curds and, like, a glass of backwood. Like, I just love you guys so much. What? Um, but thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, you guys, stay true.